Greetings everybody, this is Editing Amanda here. I just wanted to touch base really quickly and say that what works in my room for productivity may not necessarily work for you. And one of the things I wanted to say is you do not need an elusive, elaborate, expensive setup that follows all these trends that are often pushed to be successful and productive, especially in academia. Um, I think so often we fall victim to these trends that are pushed. I've fallen victim to it too. So just be mindful that you do not need crazy setups to be successful and productive. So this is actually my second time filming this video and I'm going to explain really quickly why. So I'm going to come in my son's room. Um, this originally was in my room and I'm going to talk about where it was. So I do have my plants down there. I used to have a lot more, but they died when I actually had to like go back to work and I wasn't always home from COVID. Um, I do have this fish tank. There's only a few uh, coolie loaches in there. Nothing too special. This was like beside my bed. So I've got, you know, my makeup removers, this random ugly doll thing that I'm obsessed with. I love it. I don't know why. Yes, I'm in my 30s, but I love it. My 3DS and fish food, a measuring tape, and some duct tape, and a plant. So that was originally over there, and I'll get to that after. So one of the things that works for me, please ignore that bowl. That's from my son, not cleaning up. Um, so one of the things that really works for me and has helped me is to have plants and kind of greenery. So I do have a few plants throughout my room and I did have more of course before that was moved over there. Um, I got really into them during the whole COVID craze and I'm really into the carnivorous plants. So Nepenthes, I don't know, they're pitcher plants. They catch bugs, they're super cool. But unfortunately, a lot of them have fallen victim to us all returning to the real world. So, but yeah, I find that that really helps me um, feel relaxed in my room. I do have crystals throughout. So this is pink amethyst, amethyst. I don't really go into the whole like, oh, they're going to do this for me. But I do own a crystal shop. So that's kind of why you'll see them sporadically placed throughout my room. Um, so this is, of course, the Kallax from Ikea, and I just have some books on here. I used to have a lot more, but I got a bookshelf. Um, some crystals. This is like some of my son's clothes are in here. Just some random croutons because I really like eating those. This has more like, that's a pajama shirt. Because sometimes I'm too lazy to walk to the bathroom to grab my clothes for a night. Which is literally right there. So, like, that's kind of sad. But it's fine. This has, like, my batteries. I have a 3DS or a regular DS or whatever in there. Um, just, like, random junk that gets thrown around again. Um, my gaming headset. Astros. Um, this has, like, juice... This has some beading stuff and some tools for my shop and then just notebooks and a salt lamp that I took down. I did want to set up a salt water tank and put it here potentially, um, but I haven't made that commitment yet. So right now I just have the coolie loaches in the other room and this is my guy Knuckles. Um, my son named him after Knuckles from Sonic the Hedgehog and he is such a good boy. He is a, I don't know why that won't focus. He is a murderous fiend, but he's nice to me. He's got a great personality. Um, yeah, he wasn't a 10 gallon, but like I said, the tank broke, so I will be getting a new one. And this water is clean. It just, um, some people might know, some won't, but so I don't get any backlash. When you get real driftwood, it leaches tannins, which is the same thing found in tea. 
giving the water that kind of brownish look. I promise he's well taken care of. The water isn't dirty. He's having the best life. We love him. So over here I do have um, the Xbox Series X. Love my video games. My TV on the wall, which is um, just a Sony Bravia. I don't know. I just got it because my other one broke. PS4 down here. Never use that. Um, hasn't been plugged in in probably a year. It is the Destiny version. I bought it because I wanted to play Horizon Zero Dawn and played that game. Love it. Want to play the new one, just haven't got to it yet. That's deodorant. That needs to get put away. Obviously, everything needs to be wiped down. And then I just have some of my games. I usually buy everything digitally, so not a lot there. Again, another crystal. This dragonfly that my boyfriend bought me when I was in labor. I accidentally ripped the wing off, so I need to fix that. And then, like, two of the best shows ever. So, moving over here is my bookshelf. Of course, more crystals, plants. I have a wet specimen, which is just a leopard gecko, which is from Forgotten Boneyard. I will link them in the description below. And everything... Animal-wise, in my room, is ethically sourced, so I just want to clarify that. So I just got this bookshelf a couple weeks ago, so I'm still kind of figuring things out and how I want to do them. These last two shelves are pretty sparse. Um, I've got, you know, some of the books that I use for school. Obviously, Grey is not one of those, but we love a good Fifty Shades of Grey. Um, again, crystals, some other cool stuff. Um, birdhouse that my son painted for me for Mother's Day. And then up here, I, these are my dog's ashes. She passed away in November. Um, yeah, so that's what I have for here. And of course, like most bedrooms, I have my bed. Um, I have a little stool there. And then, now this is where that white thing I showed you at the beginning used to be and I had to move it because it's starting to get warm here in Canada so I needed my air conditioner in the window and I decided to get a stand-up one this year because I think it was just easier than getting the other one. This is going to be being changed. I'm going to get, this is again a Kallax, um like this. So I got this when I purchased the fish tank uh, second hand that I was going to use for salt water and they gave me this with it. They were like, you can take it if you want, you don't have to. It is all scratched up on the sides. I just put it here per, um, temporarily. And then again, these are more carnivorous plants. Some tulips my friend gave me that are starting to die, which is very sad. Um, I am going to be getting a white one with legs from Ikea to put here because I actually like the thing in my son's room a little bit better, especially once this is out of the way, I'll have more room for my desk area. I think this is, of course, the most important kind of part for um, what you're all probably interested in. So, where do I begin with this? Um, I have this chair, pretty basic office chair. It's from Amazon, cost me $250. I don't think it's like marketed as anything ergonomic or anything like that, but it is super comfy. It's wide, so there's like a lot of room. It was really hard to put the back piece on. I will link it in case you're interested, but just know that I put this on by myself and you can tell that it's crooked because it was really hard. So try it with another person. I've got the famous biscuit cushion. I didn't think it was going to be fuzzy. I don't know if you can, yeah, I guess you can tell. Like, it's super fuzzy. Um, it's comfy. I like it. It just threw me off when I got it. 
So I guess for a really quick desk tour, I will get into a desk tour, like I will make a whole video about it, but just briefly. Um, this is the Ergon Office Sway Desk. This was one of the things I was saying is very expensive in my room. Um, this cost me about $2,000. It is their standing desk and it's in the smallest size. I would have liked to get something bigger than this is, but because um, of my space, obviously I couldn't, and price. It is a very pricey desk. I ended up going with this over anything else because it is made in Canada, it's made in Montreal, and I live in Canada, so I just wanted to kind of support something that was more local and not like mass produced um, elsewhere. I used to have my desk here, but I got over that. I don't think it's great to be directly in front of a window. For me personally, I find it makes um, things more difficult to see. And if you ever want to leave your window open and you forget and it starts raining or something, it's not worth having all your technology ruined. My opinion, and that's what I will continue to preach for productivity. Okay, so I will go through my drawers really quickly and kind of how I keep them organized. Um, that's for stirring my tea if I have one. I can just do it quickly. Obviously I have pens, whatever, in that drawer. External hard drive, one thing I would definitely recommend. One thing that is actually useful. A little pricey, but useful. I have a tablet. It's the Surface uh, tablet. It's alright. It's useful, I guess. For me, personally, I don't find a tablet useful for school. I know a lot of people do, so I can't sit here and say that that's a money grab because I think it is useful for some people, for sure. Um, more junk for my business. It's a thermal printer. And then this is like my scale, a candle, and then some camera accessories, which I don't have a lot of. And this big tub that's in the way. Um, so moving on, I have the Logitech G715, I believe. It's the Aurora wireless keyboard. And then I have the mouse that goes with that. I do want to get the headphones, but I've been a little bit um, resistant on it because one of the price, and I've heard the microphone isn't great. So Logitech, if you want me to try it out amongst the already millions of people you've given it to, here I am. This is the dupe for the wrist rest that comes with uh, the Aurora keyboard. I do have the original one right here. I love it. I just I just like this one more. Um, I'll link it below on Amazon. They have tons of different colors. It's got this kind of like back part. It's great. So uh, moving on from that, I do have the Google speaker. I have this cute little dollar store decoration from Easter. I just love it. It's sparkly. It's great. I have this um, lamp light thing. It is a charger and it's got all different modes, natural light, daylight, warm light, whatever. Um, that's a screen protector that I'm going to attempt to put on later today. Don't know how that's gonna go. It's for my laptop, which I just found. If you have a Surface laptop, it's very challenging to find cases that are cute that aren't just like one solid plain color. They finally have some on Amazon, so go check that out if you are like me and you're struggling to find something. It even actually comes with the keyboard cover, which I've had Surface laptops for like two and a half years and there's never anything, so yay. So I guess that I will say that that is something that I find useful to have is obviously a laptop cover. I think a laptop stand, which this is not a laptop stand, it used to be under here. Um, but I think that it's super helpful. I am going to get an actual laptop stand. I just haven't jumped into that yet. The other thing is getting a USB hub. I know I need to do some cord management. So maybe I'll make that part of uh, when I do my desk. Like the deep dive of my desk. Um, 
yeah, USB hub, can't speak enough good things about it. And then just to kind of top it off to make my space really feel cozy is I do have a picture that I commissioned um, somebody that I met through a mutual friend. And I will link her stuff down below. Her name is Dana. She does amazing kind of work like this and faces and flowers and she's, she's great. Um, she is here in Ontario, Canada. So yeah. And then I have a rhino beetle and a whip scorpion. Um, his name is a little difficult to say and I will mess it up so I'm not even going to try. These are both from The Hidden Path, which is in Toronto, Canada. Again, ethically sourced. So, yeah. The last kind of thing to go through in my room, which is a major work in progress, is my closet. So, yeah. Work in progress. I recently just took my dresser out and put it on, put everything on all these shelves. Um, because I just find dressers take up a lot of space and aren't that useful. So if you've made it this far and this is the type of content that you're interested in um, and you'd like to see future videos, please consider liking and subscribing. I appreciate you all that are here and take the time to watch this. And as usual, I will catch you in next week's video.